all right now so we are going to build our very first html web page i would start with creating a folder and naming it html build And I will drag it to my text editor, and this should open up the text editor. I will come on to this extensions and install three extensions. This will help ease our coding of HTML and other codes. Typing in the first one is live server. And what live server does is display our web browser as we um, write our HTML. So it's showing uninstall for me, but it should show install for you. It's doing this because I already have it installed in my system. But for you, you should have it in you should have install here. So you just click it and it's going to install your live server and it should pop up in this bottom bar here next we would install prettier this organizes your code this is what it should look like again it should show install for you and lastly we would install html boiler please so this is what it looks like and you install it so let's go back to our text editor and get a new file so you can close this window by just typing ctrl b holding it down it should close the window so i'm coming here and getting a new file i'm going to call it index.html now the .html tells us we would be using a HTML file. Now for you to create content in your live server or in your browser, you would use tags. You will enclose whatever you want to type in between tags. And we create tags by using anchor brackets, this here. So you are pressing, close this, shift and these two brackets here you look for it in your keypad you should see it so i'm pressing down shift and this bracket so this will give me an open tag and this backslash this will give me a closing tag now whatever we type here type in h1 this is a heading tag in html and i'm going to type hello world and just come down here to my live server is starting up my live server so we'll wait for that So we can see hello world has started up and we are not seeing this h1 tag because this h1 tag will just conveys the type of um, content will display now on the browser now the h1 tag is a heading tag and we use it to showcase the most important heading in a web browser a h1 tag now the heading tag range from h1 to h6 h1 being the most important tag and h6 being the least important tag heading as we've seen here most of the time we use h1 to h3 in our web pages i just want to show you what h a h2 tag looks like and i'll just refresh my browser 
and you can see that the h2 tag is not as big as the h1 tag and so is my the h3 tag refresh and you can see it is even smaller now when we want to populate our web browser with more content we use a p tag a p tag is a paragraph tag so I, i'm typing refresh and this is how it displays now a p tag in html spaces are not recognized in between tags so we can see i have created a lot of space and i'm going to type something here i refresh and you can see it just adds this to the adds it to the page it doesn't take care of the spacing i have here so what happens if i want this part to be on another line we introduce there's a special tag for that and it's the br tag so br enter and when i refresh i'll see that it has gone to another line now if you notice this br tag um, doesn't look like the h1 tag or the prp tag because br tags are self-enclosing tags so we they don't have that beginning and closing tags we have quite a number of self-closing tags we have the image the image tag can write image and just refresh you can see this and the image tag is used for displaying pictures in your web pages we'll use this a lot as we go further in creating um, websites another one is the input tag so the input tag is also self-enclosing and we use this when you, i'm sure you've seen it a lot in your signing in and all that so you can sign in and type a lot of things in your input tag so these are self-enclosing tags um, now one important tag is the div um, not data grid the div now the div tag does not display any content you see nothing has changed what it does is that it helps in enclosing whatever content we have in our web page so you can see so it just helps in structuring our web page and we use it a lot especially you see this the use of this when we start using CSS it just helps in structure it does not give your web page any particular any content or add any content to your web page it just helps in structuring your um, your web page um, so let's move on to lists so where you want to list out some items on your web page we have two ways of doing that if you want your items to be ordered or if you want your items unordered so for I ordered items we use an OL OL means ordered lists so we have our ol tags and we open them up inside these ol tags we type li meaning lists now it's in this li tags li tags that we're going to type in the contents so if i want a list of fruits i will type in apple li banana and li sorry mango and when i refresh this we have this ordered one two three 
now if i want the same thing but i don't want it ordered we'll use the ul ul stands for unordered so i'm just going to copy this Control c and paste it here Control b and refresh you can see we have the same thing but instead we have bullet points here now these are the basic tags that we use most of the time when creating our site we'll come across more and we'll see these tags in action as we progress in this program now the one final thing i want to take care of is the basic structure of the html page now when you start a new file in html the first thing you do is create a doc type a doc type tells the browser how to apply html rules basically so what i'm doing here i'm pressing shift on my system shift and one okay i pressed it too much shift one you will get this exclamation point then you press your tab when you press your tab this comes up this is the doc type element so this is where we will type all our html i just want to go through explain to you some vital things that you're seeing on your screen now so this is the doc type this is what informs the browser of the rules to apply to our website and this is telling the browser that the website is in the english language and these are some browser rules this is telling this meta viewpoint viewport is telling the browser to adjust the content to the size of your screen more on that as we deal with css now from this we can see that there's the head and there's the body everything is enclosed in this html tag now the head you can think of it as the brain of your website whatever is enclosed in the head apart from this title tag does not show up in your browser so for this title tag we have documents i want to change what we have here and write my first my first site or website and refresh this is going to show up in our tab so this shows up here all this does not show up in our browser now whatever we type in our body tag will show up in the browser so like we had before my first website in our h1 tag and and we have it here if you notice i didn't need to refresh for it to show up because we have now in before the content showed because we have now included the doc type let me do take this again we have doc type and it has refreshed so we would keep coming across this content as we go along in our program